Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another video lecture on uh, uh, signal design uh, using controlled ISI. So in the last video we saw uh, duo binary coding with pre-coding and uh, without pre-coding. Okay. So so this is uh, about uh, data detection. Uh, we'll take a certain example. Uh, in last video lecture uh, we saw uh, how it can be expressed uh, mathematically and we'll try to analyze conceptually. Let's take a particular cases. Uh, let's take a uh, you know, particular bit stream and try to transmit using duo binary coding uh, with precoder and without precoder and try to detect at the receiver end. Okay. As a first example, we'll take a duo binary case uh, without precoding. So let's try to demonstrate uh, uh, duo binary coding and decoding process for the given sequence. Uh, this is one example that I have considered uh, for uh, uh, this video. Uh, and we'll going to consider the first bit here, which is zero, uh, as the startup digit. So this is not the part of the data. Uh, so this is uh, uh, just a reference bit, okay? Which is going to be, uh, which is not going to be part of the data, okay? So we know the relation between various uh, uh, symbols at different points of the transmission. So DM being uh, the original user data which is same as the data sequence mentioned in the question itself. Uh, IM represents uh, the NRZ modulated uh, data. So NRZ will have uh, plus one or minus one, plus one for bit one and minus one for bit zero. So the second row here represents uh, uh, IM, which is NRZ output. So minus one, plus one, plus one, uh, minus one, and so on for uh, other uh, bit streams. BM, uh, which is actually the duo binary uh, code, which is which we are going to transmit through the channel. So this is the one without without precoder. So without precoder, BM is simply the combination of two symbols, two binary symbols. The combination here is uh, IM and IM minus one. That's the reason we have taken uh, the first bit as a reference bit. It's a M minus oneth bit, and this is Mth bit or the first bit or uh, the minus one bit okay so uh, when m is equal to one so m is equal to one this is uh, uh, i m plus i m minus one or i one plus i zero so the addition of these two is zero so the next bit p two is i two plus i one okay so plus one and plus one is plus two next is combination of uh, uh, or addition of uh, two i m's i m and I am minus one, which is zero. Minus one plus one is zero. Minus one plus one is zero. Minus one plus one is zero. And plus two and zero uh, for the next two combinations. So BM is a sequence which is actually thrown into the channel. Uh, this is going to get transmitted through the channel. So as you know, this is uh, intentionally introduced with uh, ISI, with a, with a controlled ISI. So ISI is with it's, uh, where it is very obvious that it is a combination of two adjacent symbols here. So this BM, when it is transmitted through the channel, uh, like uh, other cases, we have will not be considering uh, additive white Gaussian noise in our uh, analysis. So this is directly received at the receiver. So what is the receiver logic? So as we have seen in the previous uh, lecture, uh, the receiver logic is uh, first find out the reference. So reference is going to be bit zero or minus one, okay? BM, which is received at the receiver as a first bit is zero, which is subtracted with the reference. So here, so first symbol or the first, uh, uh, first symbol in fact, which is received at the receiver is subtraction of BM with a reference one. So zero minus of minus one is plus one. Next, which is received is plus two, subtracted with the previous one. So plus two and minus plus one, which is plus one. Zero minus one, zero minus of minus one, plus one. Zero minus of plus one, minus one. Zero minus of minus one, plus one, and so on for the rest two combination. So I repeat. BM is a sequence which is received at the receiver. YM as is equal to minus one is a reference which is subtracted from the receiver symbol subsequently. Okay. 
that's how we are going to generate the output at the receiver end so this is again nrz uh, data so how we have uh, represented nrz data we have represented plus one for bit one minus one for bit zero and this is a sequence which is decoded at the receiver end so it ex exactly matches with our the original transmission so we have introduced a controlled isi and we have removed that isi at the receiver end this is the concept behind duo binary without precoding so what was the advantage uh, disadvantage of uh, duo binary without precoder we have seen that uh, the problem without precoder is about error propagation so to demonstrate that so i have uh, intentionally introduced an error in the transmitted bit here everything is same except for the fact that the zero has an error as plus two so rest everything in the transmitter in the earlier case is the same sequence here with that one bit error ym has a reference as minus one now our job is to generate other sequences other uh, parts of the sequence by subtracting with the reference 0 minus of minus 1 is plus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 2 minus 1 is 1 0 minus 1 is minus 1 0 minus of minus 1 is plus 1 0 minus of 1 is minus 1 2 minus of minus 1 is 3 and minus 3 for the last combination okay as it is evident that uh, there is there should be you know some error in this as we have occurring uh, a level which is not plus two not plus minus two or zero so this is another level with which our receiver has generated where is the error let's try to uh, demodulate or decode using our nrz nrz principle plus one is represented as one 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 0 1 0 all levels higher than 1 i have taken it as 1 all levels less than 0 i have to consider it as 0 that's how i have uh, introduced and that's the principle that with which you have applied if a magnitude of y is greater than 0 we are going to uh, take it as 1 okay so with that as uh, try to you know compare uh, this output with the with the uh, with the earlier one which had no error as we can see one bit error has introduced as many as four bit errors there is a mismatch in here there's a mismatch in one and zero here there's a mismatch with zero and one here and there's a mismatch with one and zero here so it's as many as four bits have corrupted so error has propagated from one bit to next other three bits this is a problem with duo binary without pre-coding let's try to take another example duo binary with precoder and how this problem is eliminated so for which i have taken a different sequence to, to understand it better and i have taken a longer sequence compared to the previous one and again the first bit uh, uh, we are going to consider as zero as a reference bit which is not represented here so which is not part of the data itself so the re reference bit we have considered as zero so you can redo the problem redo the same problem with the reference bit as one as well okay fine we'll try to uh, uh, again tabulate the different uh, bit streams or different symbol representation at different points of the transmitter so dm is the same sequence as uh, as a user data so it is dm to pm to im is the transmitter sequence pm will have a reference with the reference as bit zero how do we generate pm sequence we can check back the earlier video where we have generated duo binary with precoder pm is generated as combination of uh, two bits as dm and pm minus one and it is updated pm minus one is a reference with the incoming bit the first bit being one so the binary subtraction or modulo two subtraction will generate the sequence of pm one minus zero is one 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 
zero minus zero is zero and so on for the other combinations it's very obvious pm is generated i repeat by dm minus pm minus one pm minus one for the first subtraction we have considered it as reference zero how is im generated im is the nrz modulated output for nrz modulated output zero is represented as minus one one is represented as plus one and so on for the last bit this is the one which is thrown into the channel when it is not corrupted by additive iteration noise this is going to be the same sequence which is received at the receiver but ym which is the output of the receiver is generated as im plus im minus 1 since it's a duo binary it's a duo binary it's combination of two binary sequence it's a combination of im and im minus 1 im minus 1 being the reference here so ym is generated as addition of these two which is 0 so this is generated by addition of 1 and minus 1 which is 0 1 and minus 1 which is 0 1 and 1 is plus 2 and so on until the last bit how we are going to detect or demodulate the original sequence so we know that 0 is represented as 1 and any signal which is greater than I mean magnitude of ym if it is greater than 0 we are going to decode it as 0 if the magnitude is of ym is less than 0 we are going to detect it as 1 so in our case we'll have 0 plus 2 and minus 2 are the three levels for ym so magnitude of ym is greater than 0 for plus 2 and minus 2 so wherever there is plus 2 and minus 2 it will be 0 wherever there is 0 we are going to decode it as 1 and this is how we are going to demodulate or detect the the received sequence is which exactly matches with the original transmitted sequence okay so we have introduced controlled isi in the transmitter and you have tried to re remove it in fact we have totally removed it at the receiver end how about introducing an error in this case let's try to introduce an error in this case let's my let my im which is the transmitted sequence as well as the received sequence why transmitted sequence is same as received sequence because you have not considered any white gaussian noise in the channel so it's not corrupted by any noise other than isi isi we have already introduced okay minus one plus one minus one and I have introduced an error in one two three fourth bit so i have introduced an error in the fourth bit as well as 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 in the 10th bit. Ym', which is the output of the receiver, is generated based on the received sequence. It's again the combination of two symbols. So plus 1, minus 1 is 0, plus 1, minus 1 is 0, plus 1, minus 1 is 0, and so on for the complete sequence. This is demodulated or detected using NRZ format or the the detection rule for duo binary with precoder is that if magnitude of ym is greater than zero decode it as zero otherwise decode it as one so for all plus two and minus two it's going to be zero and for all zeros it's going to be one exactly similar to the previous one if i try to detect or demodulate using the detection rule the bit sequence as you observe We'll have error in two bits here. We'll have an error in two bits here. It's very obvious that one bit error has resulted in only two bit errors. So the error has not propagated for long. Unlike the case with DO binary without precoding. Without precoding, there was there was you know maximum error of uh, four bits, which was propagated to two more bits. Unlike the uh, case with precoder. So here it is limited to maximum to two bits. It's very obvious, right? So where here is the error and here is an error. The combination of the error with non-error, the combination of error with non-error will give you only two errors, two bit errors. Otherwise, this error will not appear anywhere else. Unlike the case with duo binary without recording, 
where there was a subsequent subtraction all right so this how you know this proves uh, with an example about uh, uh, the drawback of duo binary without precoder and with precoder this video only deals with duo binary signaling and next video lecture we'll talk about modified duo binary with precoder and without precoder and also we'll consider a case uh, like that we have discussed here